Arkansas alumni snout out. Welcome back to the Game Day Show. Alyssa Orange here. Time for our alumni snout out segment. And we are joined by Robert Koenig. And of course, he is a part of the alumni chapter in Kansas City, which is just right up the road, Robert, from Fayetteville. And so uh, before we started this conversation, you were telling me about how your alumni chapter has grown. And it's so cool to see a place like Kansas City just you know, down the street, really, in terms of geographical location from Fayetteville, uh, have so much support for the University of Arkansas. Yes, the Arkansas Alumni Association is great sponsors of their individual chapters around the country, specifically the Kansas City chapter, uh, as well as our friends across state in St. Louis have benefited greatly uh, from really with as Mizzou joins over into the SEC and Arkansas starts to play them back a few years ago. In fact, as you look behind me, uh, this is an image from inside the Hearn Center when Arkansas played its first game against Mizzou. Um, as I go back to, but I look at these chapters, it makes it so much more successful. It gives us something, not only just a rivalry with an in-state person such as Mizzou, but uh, really more importantly, it starts to gain some traction within the communities. Students wanna go south to Arkansas. So we see freshmen uh, out of this marketplace going down for, uh, not just a, a college experience, but an Arkansas college experience. What do you think about this battle line rivalry game since it was created a couple years ago uh, after Missouri joined the SEC? Uh, and and there's always mixed feelings uh, about Arkansas and rivalries with LSU and everything like that. But uh, especially being in Missouri, it's got to definitely be a rivalry for you guys. It is a rivalry. Um, when we and, and you, you have to live with a little bit of. When you on the state line, uh, and I grew up in Fort Smith, so I'm used to living on the state line. So in Kansas City, you always knew that the Jayhawks and the Tigers they fought. They they'll still fight today, even though they're not in the same in the same conference. And it's difficult sometimes mm -hmm. to start a rivalry. It's mm -hmm. not like you throw a rock over and hit somebody in the in, you know next door to you, and you go, okay, we're going to start a rivalry. What you have to really do is come back in the in the roots of it. And number one, you're friends first. Uh, you, you're gonna you're gonna win or you're gonna lose on game day, and the next maybe maybe on Monday you'll brag about it a little bit. We talk about being friends uh, with the other side in Missouri, but you'd love to fill up the state with some Arkansas tags. And I think a lot of people we've talked about the license plates before and and yeah. how that benefits um, Arkansas, but it benefits you guys and Missouri as alumni chapters. And that's maybe something that Missouri uh, residents don't know about. So there is a hog tag program in the state of Missouri. And so you'll see it, many people will drive around to Arkansas for that matter, Tennessee, and you'll see them in Texas as well. But what's special about the state of Missouri is it's the only out-of-state mascot that currently is allowed on a Missouri license plate. And by purchasing this or paying the slight upcharge that goes with it, and I wouldn't complain about that at all, you're actually supporting the scholarship programs for the University of Arkansas for freshmen coming out of the St. Louis and Kansas City markets. I was going to say, you, you love that. You know, it's game day, Robert. So as I, I ask know. all of my snout out guests, we got to talk about the game. We got to talk some football. You got the beat Mizzou tag on your shirt. I so do. I obviously I already know how you feel about this game. But look, we've, we've been talking about this all week. Arkansas has never won in Columbia. The last time they won this meeting, was 2015. I think Arkansas is due. What do you think? Oh, I, I think this is, it's not only due, it's possible. Mm -hmm. This is, you know, Coach Pittman, I, 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 I believe in him. I think the state of Arkansas believes in this man too. I think they're going to come up. I think they're going to, it won't be an easy day. Mm -hmm. It never is. But the most important piece that I, I believe in right now is Mizzou believes themselves to be competitive. We believe ourselves to be competitive. And that's different from where we've been the past few years, really for both schools. Everyone, you know, everyone has been in the stands before and seen this thing shift. And um, I, I honestly think it will shift in our direction mm -hmm. simply because it's time. Yeah, absolutely. And you got to put a trophy in that trophy case. It's sitting quite empty for quite a while. So they need to put something in there in the football center. Robert, thank you so much for your time. It's been a pleasure. This is our Arkansas Snout Out. Our game day show will roll on after the break.